I know there's things you cannot tell me. But I also know there's a story here, and I think everybody will hear about it. All the guys at the Boston Globes are heroes to me. Nobody got this story until they did. The question is, why didn't anybody get it sooner? And I think that's a question that's worth asking. The Boston priests molested kids in six different parishes over the last 30 years. The church found out about it and did nothing. Thank you so much for being part of Arclight Stories. My pleasure. Mr. Singer, you are one of the creative minds behind the script for Spotlight. It got one of the longest applauses here at the Toronto International Film Festival that I've heard so far, and we've seen a lot of movies. What was the initial uh, spark? How did you get involved with this? I really uh, feel very strongly about the importance of investigative journalism. And there was an opportunity, I think, to show, not by telling, but to show by showing, right? And showing these guys doing such a good job. I'm trying to get some background information. I don't want you recording this in any way, shape, or form. Nothing. We understand you've settled several cases against the church. I can't discuss that. There aren't any records of any of these settlements. Nope. We started researching, and Tom wanted this to be real. He wanted to get it right. And so we didn't just go up to Boston one or two times. We went up to Boston four or five or six or seven times. We kept going. Uh, and not only did we interview all the reporters, we interviewed all sorts of lawyers involved uh, in this story. We interviewed survivors. Uh, we really tried to do our homework. When you're a poor kid from a poor family, and when a priest pays attention to you, it's a big deal. How do you say no to God? And then the, the actors, you know, Rachel spent a ton of time with Sasha Pfeiffer, mm -hmm. trying to get to know her, and I hope people pick up, you know, just how well she's captured. Same thing with Mark and Mike Resendez, Robbie Robinson, Michael Keaton. All of our actors really took this project very seriously. And oh, that you can tell. Very gratifying from the beginning. 6% act out sexually. 6% is 90. 90 priests. If there were 90 of these bastards, people would know. Maybe they do. How, how important was this story to you? What was interesting about the story was not that the church was a bad actor. Everybody knows that at this point, right? What was interesting about the story was the deference, was the fact that there were other bad actors who sort of looked the other way. And I think that's something you see across the board in scandals just like this one, talking about Penn State. I saw the same thing with the scandal at the BBC. And you see the same thing with, you know, Florida State. You know, I, I think that it's something that I wonder about all the time. Why, when something like this happens, do we look the other way, try to protect a good institution? We've got two stories here. A story about degenerate clergy and a story about a bunch of lawyers turning child abuse into a cottage industry. Which story do you want us to write? Because we're writing one of them. You know, we're not out to, we're not, we're not trying to slam or take down the Catholic Church. We're just wanting to hold people accountable. And that's what journalists do, and I think that was really inspiring. They knew, and they let it happen. It could have been you, it could have been me, it could have been any of us.